You know, the pandemic has had such a major impact on just about every industry you can think of. But online sales, they haven't missed a beat at all. Instead, they've increased, they've grown exponentially. And I got a chance to catch up with Mike Sancho for all the details about e-commerce. And he also gives us some insight on his future. E-commerce is a rapidly expanding industry, Brooks. I'm sure, as you can see, you know, consumerism has really shifted towards an environment where more and more people are wanting to shop from home, right? And especially with things happening, uh, with the pandemic, with the virus, right? People are more and more shopping from the comfort of their home. So you actually have your very own business and tell us a little bit about that, where it's located and what it is and all that good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. So uh, we run an e-commerce automation business. We're located in Orlando, Florida. And the way I like to you know, explain our, our business in, in simple terms is that it's a business management service. So we partner with clients and we run their entire operation for their Amazon accounts, their Walmart accounts, or any other platforms that they could be selling on because we sell on a variety of platforms, Brooks. We sell on eBay, Shopify, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Home Depot. All of these retailers, they have these online marketplaces that we can sell through as an e-commerce seller. So I've got to be honest with you, uh, just being a person who shops online and whatnot from time to time, you know, one of the things that I picked up on at the start of the pandemic was that a lot of people were not prepared. None of us could really prepare for this, but, uh, you know, it was just a matter of how fast does your business kind of catch up with the times or do you get left behind? What can you say just as far as how this makes things a little bit easier for these companies who are actually doing their selling online. Yeah, I think it makes it easier on both, uh, both sides, not only for the business because there's less overhead, less cost, but also on the consumer side because it's more easy, more convenient. And when you go to shopping at brick and mortar locations or malls, you're restricted to just those products and those goods that you're seeing in person, where online you have millions of products at your disposal, but from the business side, it's been a huge advantage, um, the way things are moving with e-commerce, because there's just so much less costs that come with having a brick and mortar retail location. All right, some good stuff right there. Michael, anything else you think you may wanna add for our viewers? I would say um, for, for the viewers here, if, if you guys are not involved in e-commerce with your business, if you are a business owner, I would look for ways to integrate that into your sales method for your business because it's just going to continue. This trend is just going to move further and further towards this environment of people shopping online, and it's going to be the smart way to do business in the future. All right, good stuff right there. Michael, anywhere that people can get a little more information about you or about your company? Absolutely. They can visit our website. It's www.wealthacceleratorsfba.com or they can follow me on Instagram at the Mike Sancho, or they can follow our business page at Wealth Accelerators. All right, Mike Sancho, thank you so much. As always, we'll get this information on our website.